Right here, we're gonna show you a video of an unsafe horse to be around. He's approaching with his ears back, putting his head through the bars. I'm gonna back away here and see if he'll give me some personal space or not. And he comes again at me with ears flat back in an angry position. I'm backing up because I don't want to get bitten. And he's got his ears back again. Let's see if I come forward, if he'll give me any personal space at all. And he's coming right after me with ears flat back again. Oh, good. He's keeping his head inside the pen this time a little bit. He came through a little more slowly than last time, so that's an improvement. He's trying to be funny, get my attention, but he's coming at me still with those big teeth and he needs to back up and it's not funny. So I'm gonna back up a little bit more, except I can't, I'm on a hillside here. Again, not a, ideal to be trying to film and not fall down the mountainside. Okay, so he's following still. He's not, he's licking and chewing now a little bit, which is a good thing. Good boy, and his ears are up. Good boy. So even though he has his head through the bars, um, his body language has relaxed, and the fact that he's doing silly things um, is possibly showing relaxation, but you really need to watch those ears. Let's see what happens when I come a little closer. Good, the ears stay forward. I really would rather see him bring his head in and lower his nose below the point of the shoulder a little bit before I approach him and see. Now he has his ears flat back again and we're not gonna approach anymore after that. It's all too much, too much. Still ears back, still approaching too angrily. So we're going to just stop for right there for today.